Hello and in this video I'm going to go over the six thought areas that you need to process in order to successfully design your villa in Spain including two or three things that are unique to Spain and those areas are first of all establishing your lifestyle objective and how to think about that. Secondly, the aesthetics of the design, the architectural style that you're going to go for. Thirdly, the size of the villa and your budget. Fourthly, the physical characteristics of the plot. Fifthly, the construction method that you're going to opt into. And sixthly, the finishes and the mechanical installations. Now, before we get started, let me reassure you that if you work with us, we're going to guide you through the whole process. We're going to uh, support you and do the heavy lifting so that you can sit back and enjoy the whole process. OK, let's jump into the video. Hello and welcome to the channel. And if you're new here, my name's John Wolfendale and I'm the founder and CEO of Ecovida Homes. We have a simple project management system that guarantees a successful outcome in all of our projects throughout Spain. So if you need some help, get in touch with me through the website. That's ecovidahomes.com. The first area I would encourage you to think about is what is your lifestyle? objective. You know, what is it going to feel like to live in the villa that you're designing? Perhaps, uh, for example, your home starts at the front gate and not at the front door. And what I mean by this is, you know, quite often the outside spaces are worth equal consideration, if not more consideration, even than the inside spaces. You know, quite often there's a sort of perfect spot in a villa, perhaps where you're eating outside, in the shade, in front of the water, in front of that magnificent view. And maybe those six square meters are the most valuable part of the whole property. And they're not inside the property, they're outside the property. Maybe you have a vision of cooking together with family and friends, all sharing the preparation of the food, sharing a glass of wine, perhaps overlooking the shaded area where later you're going to eat with the pool in front of that and the children in the pool and you can see them and all of this in front of the views of the Mediterranean. Perhaps at the bottom of the garden there's a summer house with a yoga or art studio, an outside kitchen or somewhere where you can go and be private to read a book or whatever it is you want to do. We need to create different spaces for different moods. Maybe you have in mind inviting family and friends or maybe even having parties. Quite often entertaining is an important part of the overall design consideration. The second area you're going to have to process is the the aesthetics or the architectural style that you're going to go for. Perhaps, for example, uh, you want a modern style with a flat roof, uh, perhaps softened with textures, uh, natural stone, wood, stucco. Do you want double height ceilings with a gallery and big picture windows? That's one option. Another option might be to go for a more traditional Mediterranean uh, style, perhaps with uh, traditional clay roofing tiles over a pitched roof. Perhaps you want to incorporate an Andalusian courtyard into your design for shade, privacy and the pot plants. Now we love to see all your images and thoughts and designs as early as possible so that we can guide you on costs and of course we can do any style. Our job is to make your vision a reality. The next area you're going to have to consider is the size of the villa and your budget. In fact, there are three areas that interplay. There's the size, there's the budget, and there's the quality of the design and the finishes. And those three interplay to come together. Now, we're going to need to know, we can help you with this, is how many square meters uh, you're going to build, um, how many bathrooms, how many bedrooms, any other rooms such as studies or art rooms. And in all of this, we need to think about the function. 
who is going to use this property? Are there going to be a lot of children? Are there going to be older people? Do we need to think about steps, a ramp or a lift? Is it going to be used for holidays or even for rentals? So that's the third area that we need to cover. The next thought area you're going to have to consider is all about the, uh, the physical characteristics of the plot. I've done a number of videos on this that I'd encourage you to look at and there's lots of things to think about. Uh, the views, the orientation, the aspect, the gradient if there is one and of course um, the strength of the ground which we don't know yet until we've done the geotechnical survey but that might influence the strength of the foundations and the budget. In any case we like to stand with you on the plot and you know think about what, what it would be like to have breakfast in front of that view or or maybe to watch the sunset at that point and to look at the whole thing with you together I would encourage you to visit the plot at different times of the day and at different times of the night too and you know go to the plot on your own and sit there quietly for a long time and see what thoughts occur to you. The next area you're going to have to think about is what structural method uh, you prefer and I'm going to run through very briefly the four options but let me make it plain to start with that any of these can give you an energy efficient villa which is what we specialize in and we're going to compare them uh, in terms of speed, cost, sustainability and flexibility of design and your main options are a traditional steel reinforced concrete structure, a modern timber frame, a steel frame or a modular construction. In any case we can advise you on this and we can run through this as part of the design process. That's all for today. Please, if you liked this video, like it. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more information and help on designing and building your villa in Spain. And I'll see you in the next video.